Hi everyone, this is Rob Roy of LA Wave Options and welcome to this edition of the US Market Update. I'm going to title this recording Deal or No Deal because it seems that every single day all the commentary on the financial networks is well there's optimism today towards potential deal and then there's a uh, next day pessimism that maybe a deal is not going to be reached and it just goes back and forth and that seems to be the only thing that the market pundits can focus on at least those that are on uh, the financial networks talking about it day after day now uh, Let's get to the charts and uh, I also have something to show you that I think uh, verifies my point. Let's take a look. So take a look at this slide. This is right off the CNBC website right here under U.S. markets. So if you're looking at the U.S. markets category, it says stocks rise for the first time in three days as traders hope for U.S.-China trade progress. And that was on Wednesday, October 9th. But same day under the politics section it says the market is losing hope for us china trade deal two experts weigh in so uh positive hope uh, pessimism all on the same day and i was talking about how they are using that as if the market's up it's because they're optimistic that something's going to happen if the market's down it's because there's pessimism that it may not happen but as i said in the opening i think that there's other things that are going on but let's take a look at the chart of the s p so here's the S&P 500, a uh, nice move up today. Uh, as you see, uh, we do have this uh, worrisome gap here as far as how much further we can go. If we look at the moving averages, we can see that uh, we're a tiny bit uh, overbought uh, from the 10 day moving average, but not much. That's, uh, that's not really enough that would warrant either a pause in the uh, market move to the upside or uh, a move back down to fill the gap. You know, it's one of those two when you get overbought or, or uh, oversold. So the market could move higher from that standpoint if it wanted to. And we look poised to go up and challenge those all-time highs again. There's our wave five high uh, right at that 61% uh, FIB. Uh, extension level which uh, as uh, expected has uh, caused major resistance we've headed back down uh, but we did make another higher low uh, you have to respect uh, old school uh, technical analysis as well so the old trend line where we're making higher lows here uh, so we'll see if uh, that's enough to move the market to the upside. A worrisome sign, though, is the VIX is starting to drop a bit. So how much juice is left there uh, to try to make another run uh, and break those all-time highs? And then uh, that would certainly uh, get people's attention. A lot of shorts would have to cover. There is a lot of pessimism out there. One of the old adages is the market climbs a wall of worry. Well, there's, uh, uh, there's enough to worry about from uh, the latest economic data that uh, we've been talking about over the last several weeks weeks uh, and then uh, you know the doubt about whether or not anything really constructive would come out of the US China trade negotiations etc cetera, etc cetera. Uh, so there's enough to concern people to, to make the market move higher and one thing that uh, that does hold uh, hold true is that once everyone starts to view the markets one way market goes the other way so let's take a look at the VIX real quick here. You can see a big drop in the VIX over the past few days, and we're starting to get down here towards that support level right in the 12 range right here uh, that's acted as support for quite a while. And then we go back, we've looked at this in the past, we go back to that nine level that was at the end of 2017. So we could go lower. We could break this floor here, especially with... Uh, uh, moving in towards the end of the year when the markets tend to, to drift up into the end of the year. They didn't last year, though. Uh, did a uh, recording on seasonal trends and do they really work? Uh, and one of the seasonal uh, trends that people have watched for a long time is September is not a good month. The market bottoms in October and then you tend to drift up into the end of the year. But that certainly didn't happen last year. Uh, but we are nearing a point of support on the VIX, which uh, would indicate potential bounce and a bounce in the VIX is usually not good for those that are long the market or want the market to go higher. Either the VIX goes up, market goes down, increase in fear. So we look here at uh, those highs and we almost have, uh, it's not a very well constructed one, but you can see the uh, makings here of a bit of a uh, ascending triangle uh, pattern and uh, that could certainly uh, bold for a, uh, a breakout as well. 
So a dollar has been helpful. And I mentioned that there's other things that I think are going on. And I think this has had something to do with uh, uh, the market rise too, is the fact that the dollar has backed off. The dollar has been very strong. And it also is at that 61% FIB level, uh, a major resistance level. So we've got a wave five high uh, at a major FIB level. So we move back down. The question is going to be, can the dollar come all the way back down here. So that's given some relief for some international companies. We could look like we uh, could come down here to the previous four. If we do, does that hold? Do we hold in here and make some sort of a zigzag? So the next thing we'd want to know is if that is a question mark, well, let's look at see how far this retracement actually has come. And you look, we haven't gotten to the 78.6 i'll put that back on there but right now uh, we're hanging right around the 61.8 percent level so my point is that we do have the potential for a zigzag here it would be qualified uh, at this point so that means that uh, if we hold right here then uh, we could uh, move back to the upside for uh, a C wave extension uh, on the dollar, which would not be good uh, for the financial markets. That would uh, uh, hurt them quite a bit. So I'll take this off. I'll put the uh, retracements back on and you'll be able to see where the 78.6% level is down at uh, 26.78. So that's the area that we'd be looking for, for uh, a um, disqualification of the zigzag and it's very very close to that uh in yesterday's trade so um needs to touch the line though for fibonacci levels to work but that's uh that's awfully close uh, so anyway we'll uh keep an eye on the dollar certainly over the next couple of days but i think that has really helped relieve some pressure on some international stocks and has helped the market move higher uh as well but uh, certainly we'll be watching like everybody else and listening like everybody else to the financial markets uh, and the uh, networks telling us uh, how we're doing on this uh, phase one deal. I think we know something in the next couple of days, whether or not that actually is going to uh, uh, be called an official uh, phase one agreement. Uh, we didn't put the actual tariffs on, so I guess that would be certainly considered a step towards that direction. Hope you've had a wonderful week. Be back to talk to you again next week. Take care, everybody.